Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio ALM MVP and DevOps Practice Lead. To continue on our series for DevOps for Dynamics 365, I'm going today to show a video on how to create UI automation testing and to run that using an open source framework which is provided by Microsoft. I will show you in this video how very easily you can download the framework and just doing small modifications so we can test the developed plugins which is I created in the previous videos at the beginning of this series. So how we can use that to test uh, the assertion on the associated activities or the task is created when the account is created. So let's see that. So now we are going to uh, download the UI repo, which is called Easy Repo under Microsoft GitHub account. So I will download this framework. And extract all. So here is the repo. It's better to prepare for the source control. So let me connect to my project Dynamics 365 on VSTS. And I have DevOps. And inside this one, I have the code for the plugin and another test automation and I will put here the easy repo as well so let me connect with that so I will navigate to here yes this is my project Seems that I didn't clone that before, so I will clone that repo. Just to confirm my password. Let me navigate here to where is my repo. So here is the UI automation adjustment fig easy and ms fig then i will put easy repo here so i will put just ui automation at the beginning This is the on easy repo. This is a solution, so I will open that. Of course, because it's coming from the internet, so it's just showing that. So I trust that repo. And this is the repo. So if I start just rebuilding the solutions, it will display here in the test explorer if i open the test explorer it will display all the ui testing so let's group them by outcome so all this is the ui testing so what i'm going to do is in sample code to just go here and in the app config to start put here my look this is my domain and my account here my password here 
here is the CRM URL which is existing here I can just drag and drop like that and I will run create new account see that so yes it worked fine So this is navigate. It will change my activities account to be active accounts. Then clicking on new and adding. I didn't do anything. I just put my URL of my Dynamics and username and password. And the account is created and it is passed. So what I need to run my UI test with, which has assertion about the associated activity. So um, let me start first by going to my test. So here my test, as we can see, it it just closing. So it clicks here and the close, but in my scenario. I want to click save only because I want to go for activities and the check on the activity so I will change that part another part is I will add this code which is retrieving the part of the activities and checking on that it send email to the new customer and if it's failed, displaying this message. If the method fail, and we, we can see that in activity field, I don't have this value, so I'm going to go to definition in this one. And in the activity field, I'm going to add this just static string value. And I need to add the keys pair values. So going to the collection, which should be above login. Here is the login. So, and I will copy that, which is just the key pair. So now I have that here. So now this my account. Uh, so this now this test method will run to create an account and assert that the associated activity is created. What I want to change here, I don't need to create the phone and the email because this is even will create uh, duplicate records. Here I will just put my name. with random value so I don't get duplicate about the account that's it I build my application and then okay yes I have still here this because I need to reference this namespace build again yes everything working fine so let's run my test now which has assertion on the created activity so now my test will run open the dynamics URL 
doing the same uh, going for accounts navigating from my active accounts to active accounts then going clicking on new and put my name with a random value then click save going for activities and assert that this value so we can see that the test passed if I disable my plugin so now I'm going to disable my plugin deactivate and let's see what will happen now I want this output order to not be displayed so now I run my test again after disable the plugin which will create the associated activity doing the same steps moving from my activity active accounts to active account clicking on new and here putting my name Mohammed Adwan with a random number clicking save going for activities but activity is empty so test fail and assertion as we can see send email is not present on the activity board the, the, the message so now as we we can see that I succeeded to run the automated UI test with assertion with just a couple of steps after downloaded this easy repo from Microsoft at the end I would like to thank you for watching the video and please, if you have any question, don't hesitate to contact me on my blog, mohammedradwan.com. Thank you.